A study by IUPUI shows nearly a quarter of Marion County residents live in a food desert, meaning they have to travel several miles for access to healthy, fresh food. Community-based grocery stores are trying to fill the void. Adam Pinsker tells us how a Bloomington-based company is helping to eliminate food deserts. People who have lived along Arlington Avenue in Northeast Indianapolis can tell you the neighborhood has changed a lot over the years. It's a liquor store with a, a, a car dealership, Ford dealership, a Callahan. The laundromat was a bowling alley. The blue building was a paint store. And more changes are coming to the corner of 38th Street and North Arlington Avenue. A new grocery store, the Indy Fresh Market, will open next year. We're going to have everything full service grocery store. We'll have um, fruits, vegetables. Uh, we'll have a full service meat department. We'll have uh, hot food. Um, just about anything you can find in any other grocery store in any other neighborhood. Michael McFarland and Marcus Williams will own and operate the store. Both men grew up in the community and know full well how difficult it is to find fresh, healthy food. It's hard to get food. It's not a bus line around here to the next grocery store. So where do people get their food from? Gas stations, family dollars, Dollar Generals. There's no produce there. So we're aiming for healthy eating. The grocery store project is a joint endeavor between Goodwill Industries and Bloomington-based Cook Medical. Cook is also building a medical device manufacturing facility adjacent to the grocery store that will create 100 jobs in the community. Our partner, Goodwill, will run and operate that facility so they can provide wraparound services like housing stability or transportation or mental health services for employees who may need that. Cook will help train future employees on how to make the medical devices. The Indy Fresh Market will employ up to 30 people. We're just re returning that dignity back to our neighborhood so people can have somewhere, you know, close to their home where they can get healthy food, you know, something that simple. Cook officials say they've been looking to expand their operations beyond Bloomington and could have built their facilities faster by using an existing industrial park or building in Indianapolis, but they wanted to make an impact in an area of town that needed it the most. When we started really becoming neighbors and partners with the community, uh, they were very excited about the opportunity of having new jobs and new education uh, initiatives. Although supply chain issues have pushed the construction schedule back a little bit, Williams and McFarland are looking forward to the day their dreams become reality. I'm just going to be so excited and ecstatic about it. I probably won't be able to sleep the night before. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Adam Pinsker.